the Blue Waters Island apartments. Additionally, when buying real estate in the primary market, you can resell your apartment after paying only 30%, 35% or 40%. Not everyone is ready to wait three to four years for the property to be built. Also, when buying real estate in the primary market, speed is very important. Many people say that real estate in the secondary market in Dubai is much cheaper than in the primary market by 15% or even 20%. Others do not consider the secondary property market, believing that all properties there are illiquid. Today we will consider the pros and cons of buying real estate in both the primary and secondary markets and we will look at real offers with actual prices. But before that, let me remind you that I'm Anna from Sunset Sellers Real Estate Agency. If you are interested in buying real estate in the UAE, our team of experts will find the best offer for you. Let's start with the secondary real estate market and the advantages of buying secondary properties. First, one of the biggest advantages of buying secondary property in Dubai is that it's moving ready. You can start using the apartment right away or rent it out for passive income. However, there's a small catch. Sometimes these properties already have tenants who live in the apartment. In this case, you have two options. Negotiate directly with the tenants or send them a formal notice that you plan to move in. After receiving this notice, tenants have the right to stay for another 12 months. So why you'll still earn rental income, but if you want to live in the apartment immediately or use it for a short-term rent, you have to consider this situation. Right now you can download the catalog that features the top 5 properties for passive income in the United Arab Emirates. Yes, we deal with real estate not just in Dubai, but across all seven Emirates to find the best deals on the market. You can download the catalog by clicking on the link in the description below the video. Second plus. You can immediately assess the quality of construction of the finished building. You can talk to neighbors, examine the neighborhood, check the road to the house and evaluate the infrastructure already in place. You can walk around the apartment, assess the layout, the condition of the repairs and the views. For those to whom these factors are important, this is a significant advantage. You can't do the same with new buildings in Dubai because they are often sold at the start of sales, when the building is still in the early stage of construction. Third, if you buy real estate for at least $205,000, you can apply for a two years investor visa, the Emirates ID, which can be renewed later. However, the property must be fully owned by the applicant and cannot be mortgaged. Fourth, working with a knowledgeable broker can help you negotiate and buy an apartment at a lower price. For example, let's look an ad for a one-bedroom apartment in Dubai Marina. It's priced at 2 million dirhams and it's 832 square feet. We go down and see information about recent sales contracts specifically in this building. Apartments of similar size were sold for 1.8 million and 2.1 million dirhams. Could this be a high floor? No, I don't see information educating that. Of course, the price cannot be the same throughout the building. The price depends on many factors – the view, the floor, the renovation and the overall condition of the apartment. Nevertheless, you can use this information to find the best offer. Here is also information about the latest contracts in this building. Based on this data, you can make a rough guess of the apartment's profitability. Here is information about the building where a particular apartment is located and growth analytic for the last five years, showing how the price per square feet in that specific building and neighborhood has changed. And I remind you that right now you can follow the link in the description under the video and download the catalog with current properties suitable for passive income. What are the disadvantages of buying secondary real estate? First, the biggest disadvantage of buying real estate on the secondary market is that you need to have the entire amount upfront. In contrast, when buying real estate in the primary market in Dubai, developers often offer attractive interest rate free installment payment plans, which we will discuss later. For secondary market purchases, you either pay the full amount immediately or, if possible, take advantage of mortgage lending in the UAE. We cover the details of mortgages, including eligibility and condition, in another video. The link to that video is in the description. 
By the way, we discuss life and real estate in the UAE on our channel, so be sure to subscribe. We also have a Facebook group and Instagram page where you can find the latest information about real estate in the United Arab Emirates. Second, when buying real estate on the secondary market, you should not expect a huge increase in price like that which can occur when buying a well-chosen property on the primary market. At best, the price will grow in line with the general growth of real estate prices. Although there are exceptions on both sides, let's look at one of the most obvious examples – the Blue Waters Island Apartments. You can open almost any listing in this neighborhood. For example, here's a one-bedroom apartment priced at 5.1 million dirhams for 1,133 square feet. As we scroll down, we see that over the last five years, the price in this area has more than doubled, increasing from 2,100 dirhams per square foot to 4,350 dirhams per square foot. The price for apartments specifically in this building has risen even more. Additionally, we see that the last transaction, which occurred seven months ago, showed similar apartments being sold for 5 million dirhams. But it also worked the other way around. In Dubai Marina, one-bedroom apartments in the most tourist locations are priced at 1.16 million dirhams for 788 square feet. On the one hand, the price has increased by 37% in the last five years. But on the other hand, if you look at the statistics over the last 10 years since 2014, the price has not increased at all. There are many offers in the secondary market, but few of them are good apartments. Many listings consist of older buildings that are already in poor condition. As a result, choosing an apartment becomes much more difficult because you need to consider numerous factors. When buying, you typically evaluate the developer, location, price quality ratio and infrastructure, among many other aspects. When purchasing real estate on the secondary market, you must also consider factors such as condition of the building, the condition of the specific apartment and whether there are existing tenants. Additionally, even if a building is only 6-7 years old, the apartment may still require extensive repairs, which can be time-consuming and costly. Advantages of buying primary properties First, flexible payment plans. Many real estate developers in Dubai offer interested-free installment plans. These plans often require an initial down payment of 10% to 20%, followed by payments during the construction period. The remaining balance, it can be 30%, 40% or 60%, is due upon receiving the apartment and the end of construction. Each developer has different terms and conditions, but some of them, like Danube, Samana, Object One, also offer post-handover payment plans. Recently, there was a sales launch from the developer Object One for the Luminar project in a really nice area, GVT, Jumeirah Village Triangle. This project had a 60-40 payment plan. Meaning you pay 20% when you book an apartment, 40% during construction, which is expected to be completed by the third quarter of 2026, and the remaining 40% over two years after receiving the keys. This allows you to either live in the apartment while continuing to pay installments or start renting it out using their rental income to cover the payments. By the way, they have an apartment for sale starting from 1 million 100 dirham for a spacious one-bedroom apartment of about 66 square meters. With a post-handover payment plan, you can move into the apartment or rent it out while continuing to pay installments over several years. For instance, you might pay for the apartment over six years. This option is particularly beneficial for those who do not have the full amount upfront and cannot obtain a mortgage. Additionally, when buying real estate in the primary market, you can resell your apartment after paying only 30%, 35% or 40% of the total amount and exit the investment. Disadvantages of buying primary properties The first and most obvious factor is the construction time frame. Not everyone is ready to wait three to four years for the property to be built. During this time, you can neither live in the apartment nor receive income from it. For those who are looking for a permanent home, this option may not be suitable. However, fortunately, you can choose a property that suits installment plan and during the construction period pay only 40%, the remaining 60% of the cost is due when you receive the keys. Oftentimes, when buying real estate on the primary market, you cannot see anything but the location and renderings. 
Many interesting projects are built by entire communities, including residential buildings, roads, parks, and all the necessary infrastructure. At the start of sale, there is often nothing in the location. Fortunately, developers usually build exactly what they initially declare, and as a result, the neighborhood turns out to be even more beautiful and interesting than in the pictures. Nevertheless, you cannot see the apartment you are buying. Also, when buying real estate in the primary market, speed is very important. The most interesting apartments are often booked before the start of sale, so it's crucial to work with the right broker and make a quick decision. Third, difficulties in obtaining an Emirates ID. If we are talking about a two-year investor visa, then to get an Emirates ID, the building must be ready and the full amount of $205,000 must be paid. If we are talking about a golden visa, which is a 10-year investor visa granted for the purchase of real estate valued at 2 million dirhams or more, then the process is more straightforward. Here is sufficient to have only the down payment made and the property can still be under construction. We are actively expanding our team and inviting your real estate brokers to join us. If you are looking for a modern company with a creative approach to marketing, enabling you to work exclusively with a warm and hot leads, with a fair and transparent motivation system in a young team with a positive atmosphere, click the link in the description. There you will find the detailed information about the vacancy and get some video application. I would say that it's impossible to unequivocally answer whether real estate is better on the primary or secondary market. When choosing, you need to take into account a large number of factors, whether you are buying an apartment for yourself, for rent, or for resale. In each case, the choice of property will be different. It's also important to consider whether you are buying an apartment in installments, with a mortgage, or with full payment. How much time are you willing to wait, or do you need a ready-to-move in property? I remind you, you can always contact our specialists for more information. Also, if you are not currently in the United Arab Emirates, we offer a video tour service where our experts will show you the main areas in the UAE and familiarize you with the most interesting projects available. Bye, everyone!